All right. You've probably noticed that knowing our perfect squares, perfect cubes, and perfect fourth roots are going to be very important. So these would be the ones, and, I, and actually there's a couple of fifth roots we're going to add to this, um, that are going to be the most important for you to know and you'd be expected to know without a calculator. So I feel like perfect squares you're most likely comfortable with. So one squared is one, two squared is four. In fact, if you want, you can pause the video and see how far you can go without your calculator. Hopefully you can get the whole list. Um, but then that'll tell you how far you, you know on your own already. It's kind of like learning multiplication tables. You need to learn your perfect squares. So feel free to pause the video and, and just try this on your own and then, then watch it. So three squared is nine, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. Now it's the last three that if you weren't sure, 11 times 11 is 121, 12 squared is 144. And again, maybe not 13 squared, but that's one more you would need to know if you didn't know that one, 169. Okay, the perfect cubes, okay? one to, And the reason we need these is we have to actually square root these as well, right? Perfect cubes, so one cubed, of course, is one. One, one, no matter how many times you multiply it by itself is one. Two cubed, two times two times two. We've done that enough now that it's eight. Three cubed is three times three, so nine. Nine times three is 27. So that means the cube root of um, 27 is three. The cube root of eight is two. So you need to know these without a calculator. You'd have to know four cubed. Four times four is 16. 16 times three you would need to know, so 64. And then five cubed, five squared is 25. 25 times five. If you have to show a little bit of work to, to do these without a calculator right away, that's fine. Um, five times five is 25. Two times five is 10 plus the two is 125. With uh, 25, think of quarters. If I had five quarters, I'd have $1.25. That might help you. So that you would have to know the, the if I said the cube root of any of these numbers, what that equals. Okay, so you'd have to know up to five cubed equals 125. Perfect fourth roots. This is be what I would expect you to know without a calculator. One to the four would be one. Two to the four, again, if you forget, go two times two times two times two is 16. Or a faster way is square it twice. Two squared is four. Four squared is 16. So let's try that method here. Three squared is nine. Nine squared is 81. Okay, now this one gets to be a little bit larger because you're trying to square these numbers. So let's kind of go just to our, um, you know, four times four, 16, 16 times four is 64, right? Basically, if it's four cubed, we have one more to go, 64 times four. So if the, lar the last one you always, you know, you may have to figure out on some scrap paper, then go for it. Then you can do that. So this is 256. And I need to add to this, you'll have to know... For fifth roots, of course, one to the five equals one. Those aren't really, I kind of really, don't really think of those as ones you really need to know because that's automatic. But what's two to the five? So two to the four, remember, is 16. So one more, double it again. So 16 times two is 32. So you'd be expected to know the fifth root of 32 is two. All right, so this is an important page to, so you know what you would have to know um, without a calculator. Anything beyond that, you would be able to use your calculator.